In this session, we're going to talk about the article creation interface. And if you've set up your Joomla website, and you've basically gone with what's come with Joomla, this is what you'll see when you click on the New button to create a new article. This is the Tiny MCE Editor, and as you can see, it's pretty basic. You can bold, italicize, and underline text. You can left and center and right justify and fully justify. You have some control over your headings and things like this. Unordered lists, ordered lists, indent, unindent, and some pretty basic HTML icons here. What I'm going to suggest you do is before you even start to publish an article, the first thing you should do is install JCE. It's a far superior editor and it's the one I'd like to show you for the rest of this course. So, if you've got your own site ready to go and you don't have JCE, follow these steps to get JCE installed and set as the default editor for your website. Trust me, it will save you a lot of aggravation. Alright, we're going to get a little ahead of ourselves here because we talk about extensions and installing extensions in later sessions. But for now, just follow these steps and if you don't have a website set up already, just keep this in mind for when you do. The first thing to do is to go and get JCE. Go to extensions.joomla.org, click on Editing, click on Editors, and JCE, which is the most popular editor for Joomla, will come up first. Go ahead and click Download, and there are several things you'll need to get here. The first thing is the editor itself. We're going to get the component, so go ahead and find the latest version. This is the full package version. As you'll note, it's an installation package. You, use, you install it using the Joomla extension installer, and it upgrades older versions, which is really nice. You don't have to uninstall something later on. Go ahead and save this file. So go to Extensions, Install, click Browse. Be the last thing you downloaded. Click the Upload File and Install button. If the installation is successful, you'll see a message that looks like this. The administration component's been installed, and the plugin has been installed. First thing you do is go over to Plugin Manager, find the JCE Editor plugin that you just installed, and just double check that it's been enabled. It has been, and now JCE is set up on your system. The next step, go to Global Configuration, go to the Site menu, and make sure that the JCE Editor is the default WYSIWYG Editor. WYSIWYG standing for what you see is what you get. Click Save. Now when you come back in, you'll see a much more sophisticated editor. Now let me give you just a, a thought here. This is not Microsoft Word, although there are some functions that look like Word and some things that act like Word. Microsoft Word is a far, far more sophisticated product than this simple HTML editor. So let's take a look at the interface. I can create a new document. Just by clicking that, it would clear everything that's in there. I've got the standard bold, italicize, underline, font family, and things like that. But the real power of JCE is in three or four areas. One, paste from Word. Now, I don't recommend you do this, because as I said a little bit ago, Word is a very sophisticated product. But it will help a little bit to clean up the, some of the stuff that Word puts in that you don't necessarily see. It is not perfect. So if your article is completely messed up after you paste from Word, this is the culprit not the JCE editor, but Word itself. I highly recommend using Google Docs or Notepad. Paste your Word document into one of those first, and then come in and paste it in this window. You can paste from a text editor, very similarly. I can change my colors and all of those things. Now, here's the real power with JCE. The insert and edit image function, the insert and edit link function, the spell check, and the code editor. These are the things that really set JCE apart. So now when you put in your text and your images and other things like that, JCE will help you a lot more than Tiny MCE. So I hope this has been helpful. This is the editor we're going to use for the rest of the course.